Good morning everyone and welcome back to another drawing video. Here I have four different Reddit gets drawn images for you. And the first one is of two elderly couple. And it's certainly a struggle for me to sort of decide like how much detail do I want to add uh, into a drawing. Um, this is something that I had to think about when drawing previous Reddit gets drawn submissions as well, where there were sort of um, wrinkles on a person. And is it something for me as an artist to um, just remove and omit since there's sim a lot of simplification within the drawing style that I'm working with? And so, with this elderly couple I think back to my own family where they too are a little bit worried about their own wrinkles and that maybe I'll also make them a little bit more youthful by not having the wrinkles themselves and so this is the results and I will come back to commentate on the next drawing This one, it was quite challenging for the perspective and quite fun as well. Though sadly due to the nature of the photograph, there is a lot of um, less depth of field basically. Not a lot of it, but very little of it um, around the area of the shoe itself. So it's hard to pick out the detail of what the shoe actually looks like and the angle of it. Added that the lighting itself does not show um, a lot of information down there so I decided to sort of make a drastic uh, Photoshop to sort of give a big vignette that sort of makes it look similar to the actual photograph where the highlight is on the person's face and his shoe and everywhere else is basically vignette in a certain area. The second area that I sort of missed was Basically, the hand was a little bit too low on his shin. It had to be much higher and almost touching his nose. And that was definitely a miscalculation on my part. Though I'm not entirely sure if it's that I accidentally overcompensated and made his head like stretch out a little bit too long high or um, it's the hand itself that's a little bit too low. On the other hand, the foreshortening on the left hand where he's holding the leg and back into his shoulder was a little bit tricky once I tried to start inking and I wasn't exactly sure if I was right or not. And just tried to add a little bit more texture in the um, seat and then that's the vignette basically. Since it was sort of unclear in the actual photograph in the first place and it was quite difficult to try to add back the information again within the drawing. Here in the next one is a little bit fun as well though and bright enough to sort of see the whole image and try to capture all of the detail. So this one is of a lady holding onto her dog and just sort of measuring the relationship between her head and where the dog is sort of next to it and that uh, the dog nose is slightly below where the arm is and it all comes together pretty well and it was like fun to sort of draw in the tattoo as well and try to keep as much detail as possible just using a thinner a smaller pen tip um, in this case to try to sort of get all of the details within the tattoo though the contrast between the small tip and the sort of 0 0.5 tip that i normally use i feel like it's a little bit too different and that it sort of stands out a little bit too much that there's a difference in pen sizes which i'm not sure what i should do whether the small pen tip I should use it a slightly larger or the large pen tip that I'm currently using for the um, line art is too big and I should go smaller.
last one is a bit of an experiment here where um, it's just this dog sitting on a chair and wanted to try out one of my pen brushes and this one is one of the larger ones that I have that is a little bit harder to control and is basically that trying to just use as little lines as possible and just sort of fill in the contours of the dog so less sort of sketching and uh, cross hatching in the middle even though I just do a little bit of it but just uh, not as not as much and then I think this sort of um, showcase a different kind of style though I'm not entirely sure I think like going much further would be to try to just do a full like noir style shading of very harsh shadows and then very bright highlights where there's no drawings or cross hatching at all with that said uh, let me know what you think with each of the images and i will see you all next time bye for now